Good day grade sevens and welcome to unit three. In this unit we will be investigating a cell phone tower as an example of a frame structure. As you have already learned, frame structures consist of many rigid parts called members that are joined together to form the structure. These members are usually beams. The beams have different names depending on their location and function in the structure. Similarities in frame structures. When you look at different frame structures, you will notice that they share some similar features. These similarities help to strengthen the structure and enable different sections of the structure to resist forces acting on them. A cell phone tower consists of different beams and sturts that withstand tension and compression forces. Let's look at a tower. It has a wide base that helps stabilize it. The tower's members are held together using cross pieces. These are called tie beams and support the members by holding or pulling on them. This is called a tension force. Sections of the tower are held in position by beams called sturts. These sturts are diagonal members that support the sections by pushing against them and keeping them in position. A pushing force is called a compression force. The triangular shapes in these towers are very noticeable. A triangular frame is very strong. Many structures and buildings use this shape in their constructions. As you know, that is the end of this unit. A cell phone tower. Please feel free to leave a comment.